Hi guys and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Lab instructional video. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through today's example problem. Today we're working on example 9.2, determining H plus concentration from pH. Let's read the question together. An acid solution has a pH of 4.5. What is the concentration of H plus ions in the solution? Okay, so essentially we're going to be calculating the opposite of pH. You will recall, I'm sure, that pH equals the negative log of the concentration of H+. Plus. There is a formula though, if you want to calculate the concentration of H+, plus, it is simply 10 to the negative value of the pH. And believe it or not, your calculator has a, but, a button that does that function. So uh, all we have to do, literally all we have to do, is put 10 to the negative 4.5 into our calculator and it will give us the answer. So let's take a look at the calculator. Here we go. Now I'm going to push the logarithm button so you can see it flashing. Look at your screen, you can see it flashing. That's the logarithm button. Now it's giving me nonsense for an answer because there is no such thing as a logarithm of zero. So, but I just wanted to show you where the button was. So let's all clear that. Now watch the logarithm button. I'm going to hit this arrow button. You'll see the arrow button flashing. That's the second function button of this calculator. Your calculator no doubt has a second function key. Just it's, It gives you the um, function written above the button on your calculator. It's generally in a different color. But in this calculator, you just hit the arrow button and you'll see the 10 to the X button. I'm just hitting it there now. 10 to the X, so you can see it flashing. Now, to do the calculation on this calculator, it may not work the same for your calculator. Again, just like logarithms, it's uh, manufacturer specific on how it wants you to enter the data. In this calculator, I simply enter 4.5 negative and then hit 10 to the X. And then it gives me this long value with a long string of numbers, but that is my concentration of hydronium in molarity. Now, let's put that back on our answer sheet. It's 0 0.003162. Hopefully I can remember that. It is 0 0.0000 3162 molarity. Now, here we have two significant figures. And right now we have four significant figures. So we have to do some rounding. We're not quite done. The answer will be 0 0.000032 molar, because this one was rounded by the six. Now, you can leave it like that. There's nothing wrong with that answer, but I prefer scientific notation. It's just a little bit neater to look at. So that's going to be 3.2 times 10 to the negative 10 to the negative 5 molar. Okay? And that's how you determine the concentration of H plus from the pH. If you had a little trouble doing this question, it's probably because your calculator uh, didn't like how you're entering the data. And that's normal. That's typical. Uh, if you have any trouble, come on by and see me in my office or go see one of the many tutors at the Academic Success Center. They can definitely help you uh, learn how to solve these problems. And with that, I wish you good luck and good chemistry.